most sportsmen and women after their careers that's you know during their retirement um some of them you know encounter um, financial issues they can't keep up with the kind of lifestyle they're living before especially in this part of the world for africans and nigeria especially we've had um some of our celebrated athletes you know battle with financial difficulties after their playing career and that has you know generated controversies and debates over time from oh what's the role of the government in supporting them to oh some of them just squandered their you know resources while they were playing and earning you know um enormous you know amount of money from their playing careers and all of that all of these will be discussing today and i'm being joined now by charles frakoha a financial coach and business consultant as well including a stockbroker who will be talking to us um, about the um, need to have smart investment and savings, especially for these athletes talking about their post-career. Good afternoon and welcome to the show. Thank you, Samson, for having me. It's a pleasure. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good to have you here because yes, thank you. Um, th this is an issue that has been, you know, within the sp sports circle for so long. You know, yeah. we hear of um, footballers um, who played so well, represented Nigeria, you know, uh, even at the World Cup, you know, yeah. to the highest stage. And then you hear of things like, oh, such a person has been evicted from his uh, home um, because he couldn't afford rent. And you're always asking, oh, did he squander his money? Oh, was yeah. he paid enough? And all of that. So um, let, let's start from the basics, really. During the playing career, we know quite well that there's so much money in sports. Yes. Some of these athletes are not, you know, um, sound or um, ed educated when it comes to their finances in terms of investment, smart investment, savings and all. So let's get your thoughts from that aspect first. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Samson. It's a privilege to be here today mm -hmm. to talk about this because... You know, I'm also passionate about these people who have served the country so well in various um, capacity, whether they were footballers, whether yeah. they were basketballers, you know, wrestlers, other athletes, sports, athletes other generally, athletes, yeah. you know. And you know that for sport people, it is unique for them. Mm -hmm. Though they are not different from any of us yep. that we need sound financial planning even right from our youth. But the problem is that financial literacy, fundamentals of money management is not taught to anybody, even in the secondary, secondary school, even school. in the university, nobody okay. will teach you. And when they start earning money, you know, at that early stage, they forget that their playing career short. is very short. They have a very short window. 10, 15 years, yes. max 20. Even those ones are even lucky. Mm -hmm. Injuries can even come up. Exactly. But me and you, all things being equal, we can say, okay, we can work 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. into but our for this, at, yeah, into our 60s. But for this, at least, it's not possible. I mean, take um, a typical player, for example. He starts playing maybe under 17, mm -hmm. maybe 17 years, and he finishes that. He goes to maybe under 20. Mm -hmm. That's oh, the flying yes, eagles. Flying eagles uh, under, 23. under 23. You know, that's the Olympic. And mm -hmm. of course, he's in the senior Same. team. Yeah. I'm telling you, before he's 30, you could see that bearing injuries. Mm -hmm. His, his abilities, you know, declining. declining. Yeah. And it will get to maybe, let's say, in fact, the highest we have seen in Africa was uh, Roger Miller. Mm -hmm. 42, was 40, 42 at, at the World Cup. At the World Cup. <laughs> and you could see the difference mm -hmm. there because you know that, yes, it was just for them, they wanted just to make a record. Mm -hmm. If not, for me, I had no business being in that Cameroonian team, yes. you know, at that World Cup. Now, income is no longer coming for these players. Mm -hmm. But like you have said, they have earned so much. So much. So Not what just has for happened? Plane, but also yeah, for other ambassadorial, deals, ambassadorial yeah. deals, for branding, mm -hmm. endorsement, image rights. You know? Yes. And at the end of the day, it pains me to see that most Nigerian athletes, you know, after earning so much, by the time they retire, most of them live in penury. Okay. Um, I mean, it, it's something that is worrisome, really, and um, it's quite unfortunate. We'll, we'll mention maybe one or two names. Yes. But that's I not, hope they will not... Uh, you know, it's, will, it's fine. <laughs> okay. I mean, th these are things that um, we are not cooking up. They're things that have been in the media in time past. Okay. And um, <laughs> the, the hope is that, you know, um, those who are into sports at a tender age now can learn valuable exactly. lessons um, from their own experiences. Yes and not make the same mistake. For some of them, it must be said, um, they did not deliberately, 
you know, um, find themselves in th th that situation in terms of maybe overspending or not being smart in investments. Some of them were duped even by family members, exactly. which is quite unfortunate. Even by professional um, lo lawyers and even professional fi finance experts. Yes. Yeah, yes, exactly. I mean, for example, the Wilson Oroma, you know, case was out there. And um, there were talks that um, it got duped 1.5 billion naira, not okay. million, 1 1.5 billion, billion naira. You naira. can see that. You know, um, there were talks that um, the, the incidents um, as a result of being duped by his family members and, you know, pastor um, led to um, mental health issues, you know, Wilson Oruma, and w which was quite sad. Yes. When we got the news, the way we reacted that, oh, Oruma, he played for Nigeria, you know, he was a golden boy. Some even yes. touted him as the new JJ Okocha. Exactly, that's and true. And to see him go through that was quite, you know, painful. So let's take us through some tips of smart investments. He also invested. Unfortunately, you know, he got duped by a pastor in connivance with his family members, according to reports. But yeah. take us through certain tips for investment um, of investments that will be good enough for you know our athletes to retire. Yes. First of all, before I answer that to your question, mm -hmm. I would say, if you prepare for today, okay, it's obvious that you are not going to be repairing tomorrow. Okay. So. Yes, the first thing for these professional athletes, no matter how young they are, mm -hmm. as long as they study earning an income yes. from that their professional athletic job or yes. whatever, that is the time they, they should, should start, start saving. savings. Okay. And they should have financial counselors talking. What Wuzuruma is going through or what he went what through, he went through that, that time yes. is financial trauma. B because let's state, um, th <laughs> thankfully, we've seen some pictures of him in recent yes. times where he's doing very well. We, we've seen him Thank with God for that, you know, yes. a picture with Bovi, the comedian. He yes, looks healthier exactly. he looks than he healthier was at the before. time. Yes. So let, let's be, be you know, specific about that. But again, when you lose... For Wilson, you know, for some of these footballers, some of them are not educated in terms of even you know, the four walls of a school. They probably finished from secondary school and dropped out. But they decide mm -hmm. to surround themselves with loved ones, you know, family, family members, members who they can who are trust. Who out there to just make them out of their money. That's the point. So where do, where, where do they draw the line? Because if I cannot trust okay. my family member to help me manage my resources, then who do I trust? Remember, okay. you also had Emmanuel Ibue, who okay, got yes, exactly. you know, scammed as well by his former wife, you know, and all of that. But l let's start from the place of you know, um, financial literacy for these athletes. Exactly. You just answered the question. The first thing they should do is to become financially literate. Okay. And I'll just take one. Let's say budgeting. Maybe because we're Africans, you can't run away from family members. So. Definitely, you can't. <laughs> so one thing there is budgeting, mm -hmm. you know, because they should also have a comprehensive financial plan for themselves. For themselves. Now, one of the items there is budgeting, which I call plan spending. Okay. Now, you know the amount of money that's coming, coming in to in. them. Mm -hmm. Their expenses, they have to track it down. Yes. Before they even spend, they should have a record. I'm going to do this for family members. Okay. I'm going to do this for friends. Have a budget. And that is why at that early stage, that's where the government comes in. Okay. Send financial experts to talk, registered ones, to talk to them. Okay. Provide our services free for free. them. So that as the expert is counseling them, talking to them, all this financial literacy, budgeting, retirement planning, cash flow planning, you know, they will begin to understand it. Okay. So by the time they understand the basis, then they will see the need to have this budgeting. And when you have budgets or budgeting, it only tells you where your money will go. Not that it's going to limit you. Mm -hmm. Yes, once in a while, they've earned so much. You know, some of them, they haven't paid weekly. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Lots and it is money. tempting. <laughs> yeah, and they are human beings. It's tempting. To get they, the flashy cars. Yes, of course, they want to get the flashy cars. There's nothing wrong with that. But they should also look at getting that flashy cars. For how long? You know? In terms of houses too, you just buy so many houses. Yes, they can invest in real estate. We're coming to them, they can invest in real estate. But get a very good flashy car, you know, that you can maintain and you make use of it. They should also be looking at, look, my plane career is mm -hmm. so so and so number of years. You need to calculate that. Uh, and after that, timeline. what how, what can I still do to maintain my standard? Of living. living okay so with that budgeting then of course a savings plan mm -hmm. 
they should save for the rainy day. day. Like I used to say, not only for only athletics, yeah. for other professionals too. Yes. A time will come, you want to run. You More cannot you run. run. You have to. Who takes care of you then? Mm -hmm. You don't need to begin to blame government or blame your relations or blame the club that you are playing for. Those ones, they are only, you're only useful to them when while you are still, still playing. playing.